Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my fishing report for Coromandel for the 10th of September. Wow, what a crazy last couple of weeks we've had with the weather. I mean, it's been unbelievable. And, and when I say unbelievable, shocking. I mean, look at it right now. We're, we're coming to you from our store this time because if you look outside, you can see just how bad it is and shocking amounts of uh, rain in fact some of the Coromandel has been flooded overnight tonight um, but anyway going back to our report and the coming week it's looking not so good for this uh, next coming week but you know on the fishing front we're still kind of in a little bit of winter fishing mode. There's, um, you know, the fish are sometimes good. Yesterday I was out and um, what happened was the, there was a bit of a northerly wind and the bite wasn't too bad. But as soon as that wind swung around to the southeast, she got, she went off the bite a little bit. Still caught plenty of fish, but, but nothing huge, you know. Um, along the west coast here, more pan-sized fish, which is all good when you're trying to fill the bin for a feed. And um, yeah, I just happened to jam it yesterday with the wind. Um, and it's all about the, you know, checking those weather forecasts. Windy was um, saying one thing yesterday and swell map another, and it turned out swell map was pretty right. So anyway, um, as far as the fishing goes, we're still sort of a little bit in, in the winter mode with the fish being a little bit slow and picky on the bite. Yesterday and the other days when I've been out fishing, those I was using a lot of jigs and soft baits. The fish were, with the jigs, the fish were coming up and actually holding them. They were coming up and mouthing them really, really gently and then holding on to the jig. And you know, the only way to hook them was to actually slowly lift the rod and the hook would set it, um, set itself into the fish's mouth and you'd have a fish on. So being aggressive with your movements and that on the jig was not the best option yesterday. So yeah, they're in. They're still a little bit lethargic. It's it's really cold. Water temps around 14.4 degrees at the moment here. So yeah, she's still. You know, we're in winter temperatures still, considering it's spring. And and this recent round of weather with all the rain hasn't really helped for the um, coming week. This week we've got a lot of westerlies by the looks of it, southwest westerlies, so the western side of the peninsula isn't that favourable for that wind direction. So a good option is to head to the other side and despite having these current easterlies there's going to be a little bit of a swell there, but from what I can gather it looks like it's going to die off again and that will make it quite fishable over that side. Um, expect that winter fishing sort of mode so using bait and burley could be a good option to bring those fish on the bite they're still in very very shallow so if you're looking for fish don't head out deep go into the shallows more the better fish seem to be in close around the coast and that'll mean fishing those prime time change of light times morning and um, dusk you know dusk and dawn sort of thing so be prepared for that. Um, if you're fishing lures and soft baits, soft baits have been going really well in the shallows. And you know, little three, I've been using four inch minnows and bigger baits as well. And they seem to be doing the damage. So yeah, there's some good options if you're um, planning to come here. There's some, the odd good kingfish around yesterday too. I had a customer come in yesterday who'd bought a Thai Kabura, one of the new Jigstar Thai Kabura rods off us. And he caught a 12 kilo kingy on that on a Zest Slow J jig. Awesome, awesome effort on that light little gear. 12 kilo kingy, gold. So yeah, that was out in the middle of the Firth, you know, while that while that cut those calm conditions were there. So yeah, it's looking good. As going back to the weather, it's looking pretty good for this coming weekend. We, there is a bit of a window there, which looks like it's going to calm down on Sunday for those people who've only got the weekend to go out. Um, Monday's also, you know, looking this far ahead is looking like it could be positive as well. So, and you know, swinging around to a bit of a nor'east, so that'll mean this western side will be prime area to target. And um, with those spring snapper runs starting to happen, it's a good time to get out there and chase snapper. But anything else that's out there too, there's gurnard around at the moment in good numbers, 
especially up more around the top of the peninsula. Uh, moving on to the scallops and the diving. I haven't got good news on that front. The scallops are a little bit thin on the ground this time. And it's not surprising that the usual haunts like goat and that are not holding as many scallops as they have been in previous years. I mean, it's taken an absolute hammering from the recreational sector and that's, I keep saying to everyone out there, just go easy on those scallops. They're not unlimited. So yeah, so you're gonna find it a little bit harder now to find a feed of scallops. So it might be a good time to start looking at old areas that used to produce rather than the good old faithfuls of re more recent times. Um, they're in good shape though, the scallops. You know, the ones I've seen have been quite fat. So looking positive in that respect. So if you can find a good bed, you know, keep, keep it to yourself and, and just go easy on them, you know. So anyway, um, last but not least, just, I'm in the shop here, you can see, I'll, go, I'll do a quick pan around, you can see our shop, but this week we're having a birthday bash sale, we've got a lot of clearance items that we want to move, but also, you know, we're, we're celebrating 12 years in business and running the shop and, and, and supplying and, and helping everyone in the fishing and kayak fishing sort of game and spear fishing, so in Coromandel Town, so this month we're having a special until stock lasts. There's some wicked savings. I mean, we've got 50% off a lot of items. You know, you're getting them at near cost price. But let's feature this one today, which is these Berkeley Jigget jigs. We're doing four packs for 20 bucks. You know, five bucks each. Great deal. So yeah, check out our website for those specials. Look up our birthday bash. You'll see it on the homepage. And that's www.kayakadventures.co.nz. Anyway, that's it from me this time, and um, I'll see you again in a fortnight. Cheers.